to not get involved with all the mess, just identify the restrictions and put them on the graph. Now again, the restriction for this was X is less than or equal to negative two. So what that's telling me is this graph is only defined for X values that are less than negative two. So it's only defined from here and then for values that are less than negative two, right? Right now that function is defined for all values, but we know it can't be defined for all values. If it's part of a piecewise function, we have to restrict it. Now this is going to be restricted from negative two to two. Now negative two is greater, or X is greater than negative two, but it's not defined at negative two. So we're gonna use an open circle. But then at positive two, you can see that it is going to be defined. So I'm gonna use a solid circle. And then I'll just go over there. And then the third one is X, X minus two quantity squared, but that's only defined for X values that are greater than two. So for X values that are greater than two is gonna be everything to the right over here. So this graph is gonna look like this. So tip number three is simply applying those restrictions and now just graphing, well, you graph them separately and now graph them separately with the restrictions.